Okay, so let's clarify a few things here because people so don't seem to be educated enough. So regarding the Kian thing, Kian was one of my followers on Instagram and TikTok. And he told me he was 19 years of age. And he came on my live on Instagram. He's been on my lives quite a lot in the past. And he pulled his bum out in the street on the live. And I told him off, I said, take, put your, pull your trousers up, it's disgusting. There's 50 people in my uh, Instagram live, obviously chatting, talking, chatting, texting. Um, and obviously me and Kieran were on the actual duet live. So we went, obviously Kieran then messaged me privately and said that obviously, you know, he was horny, whatever. Um, and I asked him for ID. You know, he showed me a driving license card, uh, which looked real to me. And you can see the date of birth there that clearly states he's 19 years of age, which is why I continued with the sexual discussion with him because he'd already done one voice note to me saying he was horny and he was wanking, blah, blah, blah. So obviously then that I'm a gay guy. So obviously he's 19 years of age. He's interested in me. We start getting sexual together um, in the chat. Now, no one else can see that chat, just me and Kian. Um, obviously he's asking for uh, explicit uh, pictures which I wouldn't do I only gave him the topless one um, because I, I won't do that not online um, if they want to see things like that then obviously that's when you become into a relationship with someone and then obviously they see that stuff not in pictures but in real form so he sent pictures to me of his top you know his top half here um, his bum he was going to show his willy and I said no I don't want to see that now Kian has then leaked these voice notes out uh, across to a guy called Alex King, uh, who was also a follower of mine, um, turned out to be a troll just like Kian. Now that Alex leaks them off all across the internet and Kian's been doing the same as well. Now I had the police out a while back and I showed them the picture of the driving license. And I said to them, Do you, does that look real to you? And she says, yes, it does look real to me. But the police officer did say to me, even if that uh, driving license isn't real, I believed he was 19 years of age because the evidence I could see show he was, showed he was 19 years of age. So if he wasn't, I haven't committed a crime because I believed he was 19 years of age by seeing the ID that he shown. Um, and what if he had lied about his age, then he's committed a crime um, and tried to get someone into trouble. I've never ever in my life talked to an underage person like that, never. I've said to 16 year olds, yeah, you look gorgeous. Nothing wrong with that, even the police officer said to that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. You're just paying a compliment. Uh, so that is the key in thing. So that that is that cleared up. Now I am not a nonce, um, we never met. So we've never done anything physical. Um, it was just voice notes to voice note to each other. And um, like I say, if he lied about his age, then he's committed the crime, not me. You know, the police have said to me, you believed he was 19 years of age. And I will stick by that because I, do, I did believe he was 19 years of age and not anything else. Otherwise I wouldn't have gone anywhere near that. So that clears that up with Kian. So you can stop calling me nonce and all that crap now because that is the truth. That is 100% truth. I've done the DBS check to show that I'm not any of that. And that all came back clear, which I knew it would anyway. And people were saying, oh, do an enhanced one. I shouldn't have to do an enhanced one. I'd done the basic one, which you asked me to do. I'm not sitting there giving out all my money to do loads of, loads of DBS checks. I shouldn't have to prove myself to you. I've proved myself to the police. The police are happy that, that I've done nothing wrong. And that's the end of it on that one. Right, so moving on to Ginty now. Ginty was a friend. He followed my account for quite a while and I followed his account. I saw us as friends. I saw us, you know, as supporting each other's account. Now, Ginty um, came on my meet and greet with me um, because obviously I was going on meet and greets 
And I said to Ginty, oh, do you want to come on the meet and greet with me? Because we're going into Kent. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, no worries. So uh, we met him at, where did we meet him? Oh, we met him in, I think it was Maidstone, I think it was. Yeah, we met him in Maidstone. And obviously we had a chat and that. And obviously, um, he had to get fuel and stuff. So, um, obviously Ginty then obviously gets in the car and obviously shows us the way to get to uh, the station. So we get to the station and obviously in Ashford and meet some of the fans there. And obviously, you know, Ginty's asking me to say silly things like he normally does, which I just thought was banter. So I played along, you know, I just, you know, I didn't see any harm in it. So I just like silly boy, silly boy. You silly boy! You know, I was doing that with the fans and obviously Ginty. And it was a good day. And then we moved on to um, the other, obviously, meet and greet places, Canterbury and and all the other places we went to as well. Uh, but when it all came to an end, um, obviously, we, uh, Ginty, went, we obviously went to, oh, where was it? Hearn Bay. We went to Hearn Bay and Ginty went to get an ice cream. And some of the ice cream fell on the floor. So I was like, right, this is this is a time to make a joke, you know. So the ice cream fell on the floor. And I said, how much did you pay for that ice cream? And he said, six pounds. I was like, bloody hell, that's expensive. I said, you just spilt half of it on the floor. And he's like, yeah, I know. And then I said, oh, just for a laugh, oh, you could lick me for free. I mean, it's a joke, for fuck's sake, you know. I mean, can you not have a joke with your so-called friend? And he was pissing himself laughing, guys, absolutely laughing his head off. And um, obviously we get back to the car and he's doing the cabbage crap and all that, like he normally does cabbages farm and all that. And I just, again, I didn't think nothing of it because obviously it's just jokes, it's banter. Um, and then Steve said something about Mary, Mary Ian. Again, it was a joke, you know, I mean, come on. Again, he's not my type of guy, he's too immature. Um, but obviously I was having banter with him. And uh, Ginty's like, oh, no, don't say that on the live. Don't say that on the live. So I just did it anyway because I thought, oh, it's, it's banter. And um, so I said, oh, Ginty's made <laughs> propose to me and uh, with his cabbage ring. I mean, come on, you people just need to have a laugh. You know, what is wrong with people? He was laughing all day. And then, like, he, when he gets home, he's like, oh, I, I seduced him and all this crap. I mean, that is rubbish, absolute rubbish. You know, he's got no chance in hell, literally no chance in hell of getting anything out of me like that. So then he goes around on his Instagrams calling me a nonce and a perv and all that crap. And his little little jumped up uh, followers start as well. So I was like, well, I'll stick up for myself. So I had to go back. You know, I probably had to go. Um, I said, well, your mum's a nonce. You know, it's it's to hit a trigger point, isn't it? That's what it's about. You know, it's not a direct as in you mean it. You're saying it because you want to hurt them, you know, because they're trying to hurt me. So <laughs> it just got silly from there, really, guys. It's it, he's just constantly doing uh, was doing silly videos. He's put exposure crap online. None of it's true. I've, as I've already stated at the start of this video, I told you about the Kean thing. Um, you know, if Kean lied about his age. That's his problem, not mine. I believe he was 19, end of. Um, so yeah, all these silly little comments and names and all that needs to stop, it really does, because you're labeling someone that isn't any of that. You're, you're believing other people on TikTok that I am a nonce and I'm not. You've got no clear evidence of that at all. All you've got is a couple of voice notes or one voice note, two voice notes, whatever it is, of me sexually talking you've not seen any key on ones um sadly i haven't got them anymore but i did have and that was before i blocked him and obviously they disappear but he did actually start it guys um now i think he may have been sent in by my ex uh to cause trouble i'm pr pretty 100 percent sure that he was sent into my instagram live to cause trouble um now, re regarding the James one, James is the recent guy uh, who's been one of my loyal followers for a while. Uh, and I used to call him one of my guards, you know, because obviously he used to protect me, look after me, um, you know, 
tell me about any bad accounts that are out there putting bad shit out there and then I'd get them blocked. Well then James got horny the other the other day and he's asking me to do voice notes like I did to Kean, which I found a bit weird that he was coming out with stuff like that. So I questioned him and I said, why do you want voice notes like that? And he's like, oh, because it used to get me off. And I was like, really? He said, yeah, no wonder it's all being spread over the internet. It's because obviously people get off on it. I said, well, if that really is the, is the case, then they need to get a life and uh, go on sites themselves instead of nicking my voice notes, you know what I mean? It, I, I'm not bothered by it. It doesn't bother me the slightest. I just think you're very, very immature that you have to still and leak other people's personal private voice notes and put them all over the internet for people to then judge me and make me out to be a bad person when I'm not. You know, uh, you've got no clear evidence of that, which is why I'm still here and I'm not in prison because I haven't done anything. And regarding doxing and all this other crap that's coming out, doxing, death threats, I've never done any of that. I will stick up for myself. So if someone's hating on me, I'll hate on them back, but I would never, ever do a death threat to someone. Never. Never done it in my life. Touch my heart. Never. And doxing, I don't even know how to do it. And I wouldn't do it because people are at risk. They're a danger. You know, they're in dangerous territory there. You know, people could hurt them. People could do all sorts of things. And I would never do that. And again, touch my heart, would never do that at all. People have doxed my address or something similar. Um, you know, they're, they're putting out crap on the internet, uh, that I'm a perv and I'm a pedo, uh, ringing up my work, calling me all these names, uh, pretending they got me sacked when they didn't. I actually resigned, um, because I spoke to my work and I said, look, if you're going to believe them over me, then I'll just resign. End of. Um, and that's what happened. I resigned from the job and they, they wouldn't be allowed to tell you anything anyway, because data protection. So even if any of the employees told you anything, they could be done because it's private information, it's private and confidential. But I did actually resign from the job and I'm not going to talk about it anymore because obviously it's private and confidential. Um, so yeah, that's clarified all of those. So yeah, with James, James obviously leaked because um, I did some voice notes to James because James was horny the other day. And we were looking to become an item. We were pretty much there. And James was doing voice notes to me. I was doing voice notes to him. Now, James has been leaking the voice notes again, which was a real surprise to me. It really shocked me that he could do that. And I did question him. I was like, why did you do that? Why? And he's like, oh, I was pressurised. I said, no, 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 no. You could have said no, they were private. Whatever he said to me was private. It never went anywhere else. It stayed on my page only. And James is 21. So again, legal age. Same as Kean, 19. But if Kean lied about his age, that's his problem, not mine. I believed 100% that he was 19 years of age, which is why I continued with the conversation, because I saw the ID, yeah? Now, even the police have said this, if if you believe the ID of Kean was 19, you've not committed an offence, because I haven't. That is the law, yeah? If the ID doesn't look real, and the police would have said that themselves, then yes, I would have committed an offence, but I haven't. Because I saw the ID, I believed he was 19 because of that ID, and that's it. So yeah, with, with James, going back to James again. So James had leaked out these voice notes all over to this certain guy. This certain guy then, because uh, I think James was interested in this other guy. Um, and this other guy played James a good one to get the voice notes. And obviously James being thick as two planks, um, gives him the voice notes and everything else. So then that guy then leaks them all over the internet again, guys. I'm not a paedophile, I'm not a nonce. Yeah, James is 21 years of age. You know, you really need to grow up. This is getting so pathetic, you know. Oh, Ian's successful, we've got to get him off TikTok. It's not going to happen. Never going to happen, guys. 
I'm the one getting people off TikTok. Justice is gone. You know, Justice is off for a week with both his accounts because I reported him, mass reported him on TikTok for his behaviour. And now he's kicking off because he can't go do his video. Well, then stop acting like a twat, you know? Stop believing other people's shit, you know? You need to grow up. You're a 50-year-old 50, 50 man or 60-year-old. You look bloody old anyway. You're a grown man and you're acting like a fucking child. You really are pathetic, you know? And I'm glad you're banned for a week because it's peaceful now. And Potato Kiwi, you'll be next because you're carrying on as well. So I'm going to be mass reporting you. So you're off as well. And I did get you blocked, Potato Kiwi. Yes, I did. I mass reported you. So you got the weak ban. You people need to behave on this app on TikTok. It's not a kid's app. Whenever people say that's a kid's app, it's bollocks. It's a social media app. It's like Facebook. So Facebook is not for children either. It's for everyone. And if it's for children, Justice, Potato Kiwi, Reese, Mad Knitting Granny and Hooter, then you shouldn't be on there either then. Should you? If it's a kid's app, you shouldn't be on there. So why are you on there? Because you're talking shit. It's, it's an app for everyone. Now, I will keep going at these people. I will keep hating on them as much as they're hating on me. Yeah? If they back off and stop it, then I will stop it. But I am not being accused of doing death threats and doxing. Definitely not. Because I have not done that. Hand on heart. I would never do that. As much as I hate them little bastards, I would never do it. People have sent me death threats in the fan mail. And I've given them to the police. Yeah? People have sent me death threats saying, get off TikTok in five days or we're coming for you. Come here, I don't really care. It doesn't bother me the slightest. I am going nowhere. I am staying on TikTok, I'm staying on YouTube, and I'm gonna be doing my videos, I'm gonna be doing, you know, music, I'm gonna be doing out in people. You know, I'm gonna be doing loads of stuff to make sure that, you know, my page grows. And that's what it's all about. You know, Ginty thinks he can be clever by putting crap on the int on YouTube of me then I can put things on here. I can say that he was laughing his head off when I was making them banter jokes. Yeah, but he won't tell you that. He's telling you something different to um, get his followers. He clearly said to me, he doesn't care about followers. All he cares about is numbers and his career and all that crap. That is not me, yeah? Now, I've got 100... 28,000 followers, yeah, 1,000 followers. I know some of them are trollers, I know that. Now, I don't look at that as numbers. I look at my loyal fans in that. And I love those fans. I love them to bits, yeah? Not as in a sexual way, but in a fan way. Yeah, they're my fans. And that's why I went to the meet and greets, to give something back to them and see them, you know? And they loved it. Obviously, there were some trollers again, but you're going to get that, unfortunately. But a lot of them actually loved it. They smiled. They were excited to see me, you know, and they said, bloody hell, you are tall. You are a big guy. And I was like, yeah, I am. Um, but uh, they clearly said to me, you're a really nice guy. I said, yeah, I know. And people go around and lie and tell spiteful things. You know, it's very, very damaging, guys. You shouldn't behave like that. You know, just look at it on the other way round. If someone called you a nonce and a pedo because of a few voice notes, do you think that's acceptable? No, it's not. That could make, that could, you could lose your job or you'd be make you resign from a job. That could affect your life forever. You know, that could stop you getting a job. That could affect you going out. That could affect your, your family life. That could affect your relationship with your partner. Yeah, it's really, really serious. You cannot go around and accuse people without proper evidence, as in fictional evidence. Yeah, there is no fictional evidence there, which is why I am still here. And I'm not behind bars. Because I haven't done anything, and the police know that. So, I 
don't know what else to say to you, but pack it in. You know, you need to grow up, you need to get a life, maybe go out and get a job yourself. Justice and Potato Kiwi and Potet Professor D. I mean, what kind of name is Professor D? I mean, you're not no professor. You know what I mean? It's you, you work. You work in some sort of like driving fucking shit around. That's not a professor. Um, you need to grow up, Professor, big time. You're acting like a spoiled little brat. You know, a child. Uh, when you're supposed to be a fully grown adult. You know, you're going around fueling this as well. Saying, oh yeah, he is a nonce, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not. And I know you did one, one, one video saying, oh, you can't accuse Ian with the James one. Now I know why you did that, because you're trying to get me to um, muckle in with you to give a reply to you. I'm not going to give you a reply, because I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to do the same thing with Nick. You know, you're saying you're protecting Nick, but then you've also stated in your videos that you're going to hurt Nick. Um, once he puts the PayPal up, you're going to be then hurting and hating on him again. Um, that's fine. You know, at the end of the day, if Nick doesn't want to be my friend, I'm not bothered, you know. I saw Nick as a friend, you know, and if he's not gonna take notes and notice of what I'm saying, that these people are trying to manipulate him, then Nick, you're on your own, I'm afraid, because I can't help you when you're not helping yourself. You know, you're, you're, I've, I've seen you following him, following Potato Kiwi as well, I've seen it on your actual friends list. Uh, where you're following each other so you are actually friends and you've actually done a video as well stating that you've got a love-hate relationship with potato kiwi these people have hated on you nick for months and you've just basically rolled over and let them do it by accepting that they're allowed to do that and now you're being their friend i, I don't understand that i really don't um a lot of people on this app surprise on on TikTok surprise me. They really, really do. The way they behave, the sick stuff they come out with. Um, I know who it was saying something about her daughter or something, and blame that on me. I would never ever say anything about anyone's dead daughters or anything like that. I would never say that. No, I have seen the videos because people have passed them across to me, and I'm being accused of stuff that's not me. Yes, I hated um, Granny, 100%, because there's a video there to show that. Yeah, I called her a cunt. Because she had no right to go around hating on people's accounts. She'd only just joined TikTok, and she's starting to give it, give the order, saying, get your wish list down, get your PayPal down. How about shut your mouth, yeah, and get on with your page and deal with your followers? None of this would have been caused, would it? None of it at all. But because you couldn't keep your beak shut, this all carried on. But I never ever doxed anyone's address. I never sent any uh, death threats or anything like that. And all these bloody stupid videos with the masks on and all this crap. Again, people have been telling me you're blaming me for that. That is, that is not me. That's not my voice. This is my voice. Yeah. That is not my voice. I don't know who that is. As I say, the fo the trollers on, on TikTok do their own thing, you know? They shit stir between each other. So when it first started with Scuba Diver Joe with me, Scuba Diver Joe apparently said he was laughing at my dead dog dying, um, which is a sick thing to say. So, and I'd seen the video of it, so I hated on Scuba Diver. I said to him, what gives you the right to say that? And he's like, oh, I never said it. I said, you did. That's the point, you did. You know, I've seen it. And he's another one that's joined up with a Chubby gang. I mean, here we go again. We're going to talk about Chubby now. Chubby is a manipulator. Always has been, always will be. Yeah? When he joined um, TikTok, again, did a page of you or me. Oh, very boring. He's never, He's had no content on his page at all. So again, what gives you the right to say my page is boring? You're boring just looking at you. You know, you're a bald man who came on the app and was hating on me because I was charging for shout outs. A jealousy thing again, you see, because I charge for a service I offer to, to my page. 
Now, it's not demanding money or begging money. People have it if they want it, yeah? It's, you don't go in a shop and the shopkeeper holds you up holds you up and said, you're buying this bloody pint of milk or else. Yeah, you go in the shop and buy what you want to buy. So that's the same with the PayPal links. Yeah? Now, I will stick up for Nick a little bit here. Nick has obviously had his PayPal on his page. And people used to say, oh, Nick's begging, Nick's begging. No, he's not. Nick used to put the PayPal up there and his fans used to directly put money into his PayPal and say, do things for your garden, buy yourself a coffee, buy yourself a burger, you know, and I don't see any uh, problem with that. Don't see any problem at all. At the end of the day, if your fans want to give you something back to say thank you, that's up to them. That's not for anyone else to jump on the bandwagon and go, oh, he's getting money off his fans. Why are you so jealous? What, because you're not getting it? You're not getting the money? You know? I'm sorry your fan base don't give you anything, but don't go around hating on other people because they're more successful than you and their fans see them as more successful than you and they want to give their creator something back. That is not your decision. This is how all this hate came around because people jump in on things without looking at the full picture. So, as I say, Granny jumped in there with the paper and the wish list without actually looking deeper into it and seeing the real reasons, which I've just explained. Uh, the Kian thing, which I've explained. So I'm not going to go through that again because it's just ridiculous. Uh, the James thing, as I've explained, you know, people leak stuff out and they believe what they want to believe. You know, the internet is a funny place, guys, and you need to understand people do edit stuff to make them look even worse. You know, so there is there was voice notes going around when I said to, I am I am not a nonce. They would take the not out and say I am a nonce. Yeah, that is pathetic. You know, if you believe that, then you really need help because you can clearly see it's been edited. You know, you cannot believe everything you see on the internet unless you hear from that person directly, as in the person that is being accused or, you know, whatever. You know, hear it from their mouths first. And a lot of my followers, my loyal followers, have actually been brilliant. And I just want to say a massive thank you to them because they've they've looked out for me. You know, I, I don't agree with them going over to people's accounts and hating on these people. But unfortunately, they will do that because you're hurting their king. And it's not that they're coming over to actually hate you as such. They're trying to put you in your place and say, leave Ian alone. And then you block them because they can't get their voice across. Now, the reason I will not come over to your pages and do it, because you want clout. You want me to do that so you can get clout and more followers by me arguing with you. And I'm not going to do that. I am not going to give you the satisfaction of that. No way. You know, and all these uh, videos that Professor D's doing justice, Just Do It Colin, Reese, they all want a reaction. Yeah, they want me to do another shout out video to them so they think they're getting free it's not shout out it's an awareness thing it's telling them what i really think of them because i don't want to talk to them they are fully grown men and they're acting like children you know and they need to grow up you know i've never ever seen anything in my life where people are so immature you know you do something successful in your life yeah I mean, Justice, you're supposed to work on the railway. Well, you seem to spend more time on TikTok than you do actually on the railway. And to clarify things, you say, I used to push trolleys around on Sainsbury's. No, I never. I worked in one of the local stores, which you have to do five people's jobs. Yeah, so you have to do serving the customer. You have to do shelf filling. You have to do the bakery. Yeah, you have to do cleaning the shop, clearing the warehouses with a floor machine. You have to clean the toilets, the staff room. Yeah, you have to make sure all the bins are taken out at the end of the night. Yeah, there's lots of jobs to do there, loads. So it's not pushing trolleys around. So you're wrong again, Justice. I have worked hard in my life. 
and you're walking up and down a train track. That's not hard either. Oh, while I'm walking down the train track, I'll just do TikTok again. You're obsessed. You're obsessed with TikTok. Absolutely obsessed with it. You're obsessed with me. You've even done a cutout of me as a mask to put on your face. I mean, what kind of idiot does that? I've never. I would never do that. One, I wouldn't want your ugly face on my face. Um, but two, it's just weird. Absolutely weird. And then you've got potato kiwi done a cut out of Steve. Again, weird. You both need professional help. You shouldn't be on TikTok. You know, you're hating on people because you're jealous of them. You're jealous of their followers. You're jealous of people giving their fans, giving us, me and Nick money. You know, and obviously it's mine is not being given it either. Mine is for a service for the shout outs. Yeah, and it's not a shout out name. It's a shout out message, personal message that they want to be done. Now, that's not begging because I'm on Cameo as well. And they do, I uh, do the private messages over there. Again, it's not, it's not um, begging. It's a service. And I, I've been really busy on the Cameo, really, really busy. I mean, I've been on there all day and all night today earlier on doing them and it's been solid i've not been asleep I, that's why i've not been on tiktok much today because literally i've been slaughtered with that doing them and it's really good i'm loving it and i'm sorry that um you you get hurt by that and another thing i want to clarify there's obviously videos going around saying you earn 600 pound a week it's not 600 pound a week guys i don't know who told you that it's more than that. You think I was doing the TikTok of, when I was doing the TikTok for five pound a week and earning eleven hundred pound a week in three days? Yeah. Try doubling that on the cameo alone. Yeah, I'm earning two, nearly two, just over two grand a week, just on the cameo. Absolutely madness on there, and I love it. Absolutely love it. You know, and I'm sorry that it's it's getting up your goat. But you need to stop being jealous. You need to just go back out there and get on your, your on your train tracks and earn your ninety pound a day or whatever it is. Um, slaving your guts out. Well I do what I'm doing in the comfort of my own home. You know, and I'm earning over two grand a week. You know, and I'm loving it. And it is, it is declared before you start. It's all written down in my notebooks. Everything is declared. That's why I resigned from Sainsbury's. Because I didn't need to be there. Why would I want to work there and earn £300 a week when I can earn over two grand a week at working from home? Just on one platform. You see? One platform and I'm earning over two grand a week. I'm sorry to hurt you guys. Especially the trollers. But you will never win against me. Never, ever. And I hope that you look at this video properly and you actually think what you're doing before you do it. Because there will be consequences, guys. The police will come for you. Because you're labelling someone for something they're not. And I wanted to do this on TikTok, but you don't get enough time on there, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to do, obviously that's why I've done it on YouTube, because I want obviously everyone to see this. Um, and I've clarified everything. Alright, so um, this needs to stop now guys. You know, you carry it on, then I carry on. You know, I'm not going to sit back and allow you to hate me. And I'm just going to sit back and accept that. No, that's not how it works. I was brought up to look after myself. You know, if you hate on me, I hate you back. But there's certain things I will not do, and that is dox people, because I don't know how to do it, and I never would. Death threats, I would never do that, because that is really serious and dangerous. Uh, but I will hate on you, verbally. Of course I will. Um, because obviously you can't hate on me and call me a nonce and that. I will call you a bitch and whatever. You know, because you are. <laughs> You're a hateful cunt, you know. Um... It's a word, you know, I only use that word when people annoy me. And at the end of the day, you deserve it, don't you? You shouldn't have you shouldn't have started it, Nate and Granny. You were the main cause of this. You know, 
you moaned at me, moaned at me. I know you said other accounts as well, but they probably didn't want to come back and argue with you. But I will, I will come back and argue because I'll be like, who the hell do you think you are, going around hating on people for wish lists and PayPal's? It's none of your business. You know, you get on with your page and deal with your followers. You give so much time to me, you and Hooter, when your poor followers are thinking, what's going on here? Why are you not um, giving us some attention? <clears throat> you know, they don't want to hear about me. They want you to support them with your page and give them some content. That's not content. And that's the same with Professor D, Justice, Reese, Just Do It Colin. You all need to grow up. You're acting like spoiled little kids in a playground because you're not getting your own way. Now, do things for your followers, yeah? Instead of hating on others because they're obviously more successful than you, clearly, because we've got more followers than you. You know, we're obviously doing something correct. What you're doing is ridiculous. I mean, a couple of Professor D's videos didn't even have any likes on them. You know? And justices, they didn't have any likes on them at all. Because people are not interested. They don't want to hear it. And the ones that do are just spiteful. You know, they're the ones that are on your side. And they come over on my lives and spy on me. To find out what I'm saying. I'm not scared. You know, spy on my account. If that's really what you want to do. You spend your life spying on people's accounts you know, and hating on them and trying to get them to say silly things, then do it. But just remember, karma's a bitch, yeah, and karma does come back round again. And you will get it. Yeah, you will get hated on. And I'm not going to be there to help you. You know, oh, please, Ian, help me. I'm being hated on. No, no, sorry, mate. You helped. You hated on me first. No, I will leave you there. I won't help you. Because you deserve that. You know, as I say, calm as a bitch. You know, and, and you've got to learn that your behaviour isn't acceptable. You know, and that's why I did uh, report Justice, both his accounts, because his behaviour is disgusting. And that's why he's been banned. He's been banned for a week on both accounts. And, and Potato Kiwi got banned for a week. You know, because their behaviour is disgusting. You know, what they're doing on their pages, hating on me, when they've, you know, they've not had any official proof, one voice note, two voice note, whatever. Now, I've clarified that in this video. I've clarified everything that is the truth, 100% the truth. And I've got nothing to hide, nothing at all. You know, send the police, send what you want. I couldn't give a shit. You know, I'm not like Justice where he says, oh, send the police, I don't give a shit. I actually do not give a shit. Yeah, I've got nothing to fucking hide. Nothing at all. You know, I am the king. Yeah, and I'm in charge. And that's what you need to understand. You know, when I make a decision and say that, right, this person gets banned, it happens because I make sure it happens. You know, I word it in a way that you're banned. You know, and that's it. You know, um, you, obviously it's the truth still, what I write in there, but I word it in a way that you, you will get banned. And that's what's happened because TikTok is actually listening now, listening to the creators and saying, right, this is enough now. You know, um, it's not fair that people go on their lives and they're getting hated and abused. You know, they're trying to be there for their followers. Um, and you're coming on my page hating on me. But you will never win. Never ever win. Because I will always retaliate. Yeah. In the lies I will anyway. I won't do any uh, shout out videos to you. As you call them. Even though they're not shout outs. They are awareness. And just replying back to you. But it's not a shout out. A shout out is nice things. You know. Nice personal message. Yours is not a personal message. Yours is just... A message <laughs> it's not a personal one or a nice message it's just getting the point across to you but I'm not going to be doing them anymore I'm not going to be replying to any of your videos or anything I'm going to be concentrating on my fans and my followers I'm going to be doing what I want to do on my my page and concentrate on my fans and my followers which is what you should be doing
okay so i hope you enjoyed this video guys uh please give me a like uh and give me a follow uh if you've not uh, subscribed to me um but yeah i just wanted to clear these things up and hopefully the people that are haters listen to this and actually change their um course of action as they do on tiktok and move on with their pages as well let's make tiktok a, a nice place to be again uh, let's not hate on others um, and let's all be friendly i'm you know i'm not going to be friendly with these people they're all blocked on my accounts um so i don't i don't actually talk to them unless they're obviously they're opening fake accounts but as soon as i spot them they get blocked anyway um but yeah they're all blocked i don't talk to them you know i've got no interest in them at all uh, i'm only interested in my page um but i will i will retaliate if people kick off in my lives and calling me things that i'm not all right so i'm not scared about going in the street either i walk i, I walk in the street all the time you know i go to the shops and stuff i'm not i'm not scared i hold my head up high i've got nothing to hide yeah and that's it basically um so yeah enjoy this video guys and uh speak to you soon take care